in the com box uh, is going to be Yasser. Welcome, Yasser, to Superfix Championship Trophy. And what a mel welcome you have been got here by the batter. He smoked it towards mid wicket for a big six. Oh, well, you have a sunny day, very sunny day in the UAE in Sharjah Cricket Stadium. Well, in between, there is a wicket, there is a catch, a clean, simple catch, taking the first wicket down for UAE FMTK. And the auto, the batsman Osama, he has to depart for six runs on two deliveries. What a breakthrough this is. Well, absolutely. Look at this. Uh, the Shabir is the one who has struck here. Shabir and Shanil, both are brothers playing in the same team. And uh, what a start here for uh, Friends India. And very interesting field setup here, Yasser. They have not taken all the fielders out on the deep. They, they, are, they have two men out inside the circle on the offside. And th that is where the wicket went. Pakistan here because the players are coming from India and Pakistan. Again, chance and just dropping shot. Well, just the fielder took off late, in my opinion. And as a result, Muzammil survives. Bring in the first over. There hasn't been anything, uh, you know, worth mentioning. And another hoi egg. That's another one. Second six. Just as I mentioned, that they are not able to get runs. And there is one which has been smoked over the square leg field uh, region for a six by Muzammil. Yes, Muzammil Kamoki, he is famous for these kind of shots. And yes, this is what we have seen now. What a good pick for this time. And it gone all the way out of the park for six runs. Here he comes uh, around the wicket once again. That's skied up in the air. Jasim coming underneath it. Once again, a chance. And takes it on the second attempt. Takes it on the second attempt there. And uh, Muzammil's uh, short stay comes to an end. Went to go berserk, but just falling apart there. And uh, FMTK UAE losing their second wicket. 15 for 2. And that's a catch in the slip. Look at that. Tape ball cricket. You have seen wickets getting out as bold as catches, run outs. But this is the first time I am witnessing a catch being taken in the slip cotton. This is excellent captaincy from Krishna. We are having Sri Lankan players, we are having Indian players joining us in this championship. This time reverse sweep and results will come in the form of six runs. What a shot it is. Conceded six runs on the board. Again, this is another huge. It is out of the park and definitely it's on the roof of the Sharjah Cricket Stadium for six more consecutive boundaries, consecutive two sixes, back to back sixes. Into the attack here. Again, a big heave. And Zen has hit it on the roof once again. Back to back sixes here. And. Uh, this is hat-trick of sixes coming through from uh, Zen. Look at how he covered the line of the ball. And all he had to do was just launch a helicopter. Four deliveries, 18 runs, three sixes. Yes, we have another one here. And this is a reverse sweep going again for a six. Four sixes in the row. Well, someone go out there, take an autograph of this bat batter. He is smoking the bowlers all around the park four sixes in the over but sixes galore of the bat of zen what a shot it is always a treat to watch a left-hander hitting sixes on the onside and uh, he is a sure example of how to hit sixes zen has hit five of them already this decision in the in the ground and that has been hoyt again six number six for uh, then he is putting up a blockbuster show in Sharjah Stadium. This is fantastic hitting. And that has been uh, pulled, pulled straight to the fielder and Bunty Patel strikes. He picks up a wicket. And wicket on the very first ball. Beautifully bowled, beautifully bowled there by Bunty. But uh, keeper who missing the ball. Here comes Bunty Patel once again. Another swing and a miss. 
So beautifully mixing his pace up here, Yasser. It's the second last delivery of the inning. Again takes our edge and will fall in no man's land. They'll come back for two. And uh, showing the spirit of the game there. Zen, ball hitting him, ricocheting from his legs and decides not to go for the run. Over from Shabir, they have covered excellently. Again, getting an inner edge. Shy at the stumps, maybe at the non-strikers end. And he misses from a close range. And he has been given out on that overthrow. So they will get just a single on that last ball. And all they have managed to score here is 70 runs of their allotted six overs. Uh, they have scored 71, 70 runs, which means 71 runs required in 36 deliveries. And the first ball is balled and the batters have taken a single. We are reminding all our viewers that we are in Sharjah Cricket Stadium, historical ground. And uh, here again, in between, uh, another single added in the total of uh, Friends of India. Leg before signaled by the umpire. So seven on the board without any loss. Uh, I think, what do you think? Uh, it's a good anyone hit, one over, which can turn the match. Here we go. There is a chance of catch. No, there is a boundary. Uh, one bounce to the boundary, four runs. Well, no loose delivery, and he's not giving the chance to the better. This time offside, and there is a boundary. Yes, this is between the two fielders and runs away for four runs. What a beautiful shot. Drilled down the ground, hammered for a, another boundary. Good over coming up from Friends India. They have reached out to 17 without losing any wicket. And I must say, yes, it's a good start. And this match is equally poised. 54 runs in 26 ball. It's not a big deal as far as tap ball cricket is concerned. Because well, a third over in progress, full toss, and Rahul smokes it, chance for the fielder, and he takes it peacefully, without, well, any hiccups. So, Rahul, who was looking dangerous, gone after scoring 16 on 6 balls. Yes, totally agree. In between, there is a catch. Yes, yes, it's, it was up in the high, and catch was taken, and Krishna has to depart on 7 runs. Well, this time it goes all over the way for a six runs. What a shot it was. This is what we were just discussing. That leak of sixes we are seeing in this match. But Amir bowling to Bunty. And this time it is hammered for half a dozen. What a brilliant shot. And it hit the roof. What a shot coming up from Bunty. Here we go, a short pick delivery, hit it on the cow, cow, cow corner and it goes for a six runs. Yes, this is what we are in need of UAE FMTK. They have to think of that Zain. Is the man. And this time he attack again. It's going, it's going, it's gone for another six. What a brilliant shot. Another maximum coming up from the bed of Bunty Patel. He is moving on to 28 and just faced nine deliveries. Batting on 28. Here we go. Can he? Yes, he can. It's a huge out of the park again. This is six runs from Banti Patel. So the game is live. Just two balls remaining. What a shot. What a player. Banti Patel. He is doing the job for his team, Friends of India. Well, the tape ball cricket at its best. Look at that. 34 runs were required and now we are standing here where 8 runs required in 2 deliveries. Test of his own recipe and 7 needed and this was a very crucial delivery. Dot delivery. A dot, crucial dot delivery and Bunty can't believe it. I think it was a better ball. Bunty wanted to hit a helicopter shot, missed it completely. Out there. Here we go for the last delivery. Can Yes, no, there is a chance. No, 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 still it's uh, just two runs. No, they will not run even. So missed out the opportunity and friends of India. Well, look at the emotions. Look at the emotions. Both the batter and the baller are on the ground, on their knees. Because the batter just missed it narrowly. He could have turned the match. He could have become the hero. This is the first match that we have seen. 
a team player coming up from india and playing and competing the players from pakistan who are usually very regular in tap ball but i must say that sec second match it was for the super six championship trophy and what a brilliant we have ue fmtk won the game by six runs but let me tell you that bunty have won our hearts already